Hello and welcome to Path of Exile Necropolis League. We are playing a Cyclone Slayer and we're having a great time with it. I'm also getting quite a bit of questions from people that are having a tough time. They're, they're stuck at some point and um, inevitably I ask them a few questions and I start saying, well, what about this? What about that? But it's really hard to cover everything. So what this is going to be a mini series that goes into a deep, deep detail on each section. And by the end of them, let's say you're, you're, you're set on one of the sections, but you, you're not sure about the other one. You can watch each of them or whatever you want to do. And, but as long as you've got them all covered, you're going to be able to do this with ease. So let's get into it. For instance, if you're down in a delve, you should be able to come down here, down, down to depth 300, where the break point has been hit and it's more difficult. And you should be able to just, you know, just run along. We'll turn on our sprint and fast thing. There's some whetstones and just flying along, easy stuff. I'm not even, I can barely, I don't really have to pay too much attention. I can actually look away. Like this one, we should be able to just sit here in the middle. Let's see if that's the case. Ooh, I took a big hit there. And it's starting to get more difficult down here, but there's ways we can improve this build still. There's a lot of ways. I mean, look at these triples coming at us, no problem. And we'll start it up, let's start it up. This guy's gonna be a little bit little bit of a trick this guy is a little bit tougher than the other ones but this is a 300 so you can see when you start seeing these um triple and quintuple projectiles you know that you've hit a break point and the, the things are starting to scale up damage wise but then you're also getting more rewards and i'm just sitting in here in the middle and i should win right all the flasks are going everything's firing off i'm in great shape and this one's a win so you should be able to do that with ease. And then if you are doing depth, just make sure these are at, you know, maxed out for whatever depth you're at. So it should be at least 70, you know, it maxes out at 75, 150, 150, and then you can max out everything else and have a good time. And then we're also going to get you to the point where you can do um, tier 16 map red. We'll quality it up to get more uh, quantity, quantity out of it. And we can use one of these to turn it rare We'll take a quick look at this. It's gonna, monsters are gonna hit pretty hard. If you don't like the one where they're critting you and hitting you really hard, um, you could re-roll this. Let's just re-roll it and see if it gets a little bit easier. Many totems, I don't like totems, but oh well. Power charge on it. Um, I don't see anything too crazy on here. Um, we don't care, this build doesn't care about reflected elemental damage or physical damage. Even like no regen is no big deal. So let's give it a shot. If you're able to um, advance this up to here, you'll get a drop that's worth a divine right now, I think. It's right around there. And we'll pop it in. We'll just do it just like this. We won't even put any extra scarabs in, but you could do that as well. This is fine. Everything's cool. Let's just hop in. And let's see what we got. And you can always double check just by going like that to double check everything. And let's see. We'll turn this on. Start going. And just cruising through this map. We have the uh, sulfite thing where we get extra buffs and go faster for hitting the sulfite and speed buffs, everything. This is just, I'm just steering and wiping everything out. It's really not a problem. And let's go to the uh, boss real quick. And I'm wiping all these things out. You should be, I'm going to get you to this point. If you're not here, you should be, um, this should be a relaxing thing. Let's go find the boss. Wow, that was a uh, 60 chaos. Nice. Here's the boss room. I'll drop that down just in case. I mean, you can die. And it's not the end of the world. Like this is a little bit of a tricky boss. You'll he gets really mad when you kill one of them, and you just gotta step away from ideally like, step away a little bit until he gets upset, and then just jump back in. And we can even put our Val haste thing going on, and he's done. So that's how easy it is. <laughs> it really shouldn't be a difficult thing. Um, we'll get you there right now. So this is meant to be a multi-part series because when I was thinking about how to make this, I was looking at all the things that I had to go over and I realized this could turn into multiple hours or at least a solid hour to explain all the different steps. So in this one, we're only going to focus on flasks. We're going to get you set up on those, how to make them, all that kind of stuff, how to make them or find them and we'll get you set. Then we're going to go over, uh, the gear. The weapon, <laughs> the weapon is a, this is a nice weapon. Um, our 
passive tree and the atlas tree and you should be in good shape because of that but we're, we're just going to focus on just flasks in this episode the next episode gear then probably passive tree and then the atlas tree so let's do it let's start off with the very first one um if you don't have one of these um it can really uh it can really make life more difficult but what you want to look for is um instant recovery when low on life meaning I get all that 2,400 health back and um, the second secondary effect, I'll leave it up to you as far as the suffix goes. See down there, down there at the bottom? The suffix, go ahead and put whatever you want on there. Um, but I went with that. And the top line where it says 14% 14 reduced, uh, 14 reduced amount recovered, that's a, a good <laughs> tier. Um, I think that's the highest... Yep, it's the highest, re actually 11% would be the reduced amount recovered. So I could get this a little bit better, 11% um, reduced amount recovered. So that 2,400 maybe would go up to like 2,600. But not only that, this is how I, how I um, improved even more. Let's go to our Pantheon. And I've taken this one. You could take other ones, but this one is uh, pretty powerful. Um, it increases the uh, rec life recovery from flask when used when low on life by 60 percent so this is going to be four thousand life ish 60 percent more um on a single heal that that'll heal me you know if i'm down here it's a full heal and i've got three uses of that so you want to quality that up to 20 and look for something with um the amount recovered being at least 2400 you know, something up in that range, 23, 2400. And then the second one, you can put anything you want on that. So that's how I went with this. And then this other thing that you have to go and capture the boss and capturing the bosses um, is through the divine vessels. The divine vessels are right here. Let's find those. They're right here. Um, they cost like four chaos, maybe five on the trade market. You go over, you find the boss that you need to capture. And in this case, it said capture uh, Mergeth. So you'd come to your, um, you'd come here and you'd find out where Mergeth is by going like this. Mergeth. Looks like he's in a uh, stagnation map. So it, it wouldn't be a tier 16 necessarily for you because I've used these to improve the Atlas. So you just get a stagnation map, run it. You could even run it white, not at anything special. Just put this in there with it. You'd put this in here with the stagnation map, run it come back out it's going to be filled with his uh essence <laughs> and then right click it and use it and then you will have unlocked this thing which is actually important um see that enemies you've hit recently have a 50 percent reduced life regen well some some monsters can have a lot of life regen on them and they sit there and regen and regen well that cuts it in half also with my helm uh enemies i've hit redu have a 69 percent reduced life regen so i've really cut that down to a non-issue nice um, the next one we're going to go over is going to be the uh, Quicksilver Flask. Movement speed is really important to me. I, especially you know, with Cyclone of Tumult, it slows you down. When you, when you hit the sixth rank of that thing, it's slowing you down quite a bit. But if I have all the other things on, and we'll go over those as well. This uh, that on, and let's see, and this on. Now I'm running, and even if I'm doing, you know, the sixth rank, I'm going fast enough. And if I'm slowing down, it's usually because there's something that I have to kill anyways. And then the speed is not a big issue there. So, in between places, I really want to move fast. Um, so, I've got the site. Let's, let's find out how to get one of these cheaply-ish, and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's look at this. It has a quality of 20. If your flask isn't qualityed up to 20 and you haven't bought it that way, um, you could improve it with gem cutters uh, or, or with baubles and the baubles are right here um and you can buy those from a vendor you can get them off a vendor in whalen and you're going to improve it to 20 percent you could also start with um you know there's a quicksilver uh, how to craft this if you look on the channel i'll try to put the link down below you can craft these yourself so i'll link to that video as well but you got to get it to 20 percent um there's ways to get it above that but for now we're just going with 20 percent and then i look at that and i say you know what all the different suffixes there's quite a few i'm good with speed i want speed on this because all the other flasks also have suffixes down there see that one has crit 
This one has attack speed, and this one has uh, even more armor. Well, you can't stack these, so I can't do crit, 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 crit across the bottom because it overwrites it. So I was looking at all the different things. I could maybe get um, some some leech. I didn't really need anything, so I went with um, movement speed. Now this this flask, if we just go, if we just press one and we say um, hidden, we turn that on, we set it to quality of 20, and then we said, okay, look at look it up like this. Let's go find out. We first we search and see if there's one on there. You could get one for this is probably worth 40 to 50 chaos. Okay. Not bad, but I think we can do better. So let's go find out. Find one. I wanted to go with increased duration instead of the crit strike, get a get a charge back. There's a cap on the number of um, charges you can get back because I would I crit so much it would be like instantly full. So there there's some kind of soft cap per second you can get back. So I'm going with increased duration. So let's find out how we can get this exact one. And not only that, if I hold down Alt, it says a tier one roll on the uh, the movement speed. And not only that, it's the perfect roll on the movement speed. So let's go find this particular flask. We're gonna press F1. We're gonna select both of these. And if not, we'll we'll get you there. We'll sh I'll show you how to do that as well. And the hidden mods. Oh, there's no hidden mods on this one because we're gonna actually uh, enchant it ourselves. Cool. So when I bring this up, it comes up like that with the increased duration, all these things. So let's uh, tweak this a, a couple different ways. Um, we're on Path of Exile Trade. We've gone to the search. We've got Quicksilver in this line, so it brings up Quicksilvers. But if we drop this down, what if we were to change something like this? What if we were to say, hey, this is only 12 and the, mat the duration increase is only 27? Let's see if that changes things. It does. Now it's down to 20. 20 chaos for that one. Not bad. It's already qualityed up. This would be an okay one. It lasts 8.8 .8 seconds. And it's that. That's actually a good one. Let's buy it. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to direct whisper him. And we'll be right back. There we go. We'll go buy it from him. And visit hideout. Accept. We'll put the 20 in there. Nice. 20 chaos. Accept. We'll say thank you. And let's go do something to this particular flask. Um, I don't... I, I've got a one that cost me a, a little more, but it's a perfect roll and it's already qualityed up. And, oh, it moved it here. So there's one thing weird about this one. This one didn't have that on there. So let's go put it on. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to improve this flask right here for this person, for the thing. So let's, we put it in here. We've got the five instilling orbs right there and the five um, glass baubles. So that doesn't cost much, like three chaos to do it to. So now we've got 20 uh, um, invested, uh, 23 invested in this. So we're going to craft it. Now let's search for this. We're going to search for this with a minimum of that. We're going to turn on the hidden um, and the quality. So now let's search. Now we're at 2980 chaos. This one is probably not, um, nobody's really buying it, but we can get this one for 79 chaos. So let's go ahead and sell this one for, I don't know, let's sell it for 59 chaos. That'll, it'll, it'll sell quickly then. And 59 chaos. Or I could, you know, if I didn't have it, I could, if I didn't have this one, I would use it. So we just made 40 chaos, I would say, maybe 35 chaos. And that's going to pay for this. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but we just <laughs> did it. We improved it and some, hopefully somebody will buy it from us now. And that's the, a really good price on it too. So this one, um, this one is the, uh, it was maxed out. This one cost 70 chaos, but I'm going to be able to sell mine for about, um, probably about uh, 50 chaos. So let's go ahead and sell this one for 50 chaos or 49, 49 chaos. There we go. So now we're in good shape. I bought this one for 70 chaos. It was already um, quality 20, but it just didn't have the, the movement speed on there or the uh, automatic usage on there. So I'm going to go here. I've got enough of these. We craft it up and let's take a look at this one. This one is going to cost, if you were trying to shoot for a minimum of 34, a max 
perfect roll on that. The quality's set and used when full. Let's see if there's even any out there. Oh, one divine. So I got this for 70. I put this on there and it's worth one divine. And probably you could probably get at least 100 chaos out of this quite easily. Nice. So I want to use this and now that's going to help me out. So I've improved that just from a, a, a bit ago for me. Um, like for a boss attack, if you're fighting just a boss, you're not going to get, um, you're not going to be able to get charges back, but you could get charges back if you did the crit thing on, on crit, but I'm more content with the increased durations. I've gone across the board with increased durations. I'm probably going to approve this one next. So flasks. We've got one like this. You know how to search for these now. A crit. This one's probably a little bit low too. Let's check it out. That's a tier three roll. So I'll probably be improving this to get the crit chance, uh, crit, uh, crit strike chance even better. So even with this build, I can spend some chaos and it's not even that much really to improve this. I have room for improvement there. I like the 34% increase. Let's see what the tier, oh, that's a tier one perfect roll on that one. So I. The only way I could improve this is to try to get uh, the increased duration to 40%, but this is going to be really expensive. Let's say uh, quality 20. Um, let's say this up to 40. <laughs> let's see. Even without the, the hidden thing on there, you know, just, just that alone. Um, there's none. Um, let's say even 39. None. Let's say 16. One divine. So this one is a really good one. So you're going to have to lower, if you're going to buy this, you're going to have to lower probably this down to like 34. Let's see if that happens. There we're getting back down into <laughs> a decent price, 50 chaos. Um, and that this one would work. Um, so we'd be in good shape. You're going to have to go over these, make sure you're, each of these are quality 20. And here's the thing I always put, um, you don't have to do it this way. You can mix and match. You could say you could put crit on this one and attack speed on this one, but it's just for my sanity. I go crit on my crit, uh, attack speed on that one. So you could find, you can mix and match that suffix with something else, but this just makes it easy for me to look. Okay. I've got to improve that without swapping around armor i've got to improve it let's see i think that's a really good roll too Ooh, one off of perfect nice but these two this one right here i can improve so i think this is pretty thorough um the next uh, episode we're going to go over uh gear and it'll probably be a little bit longer episode in fact i might do yeah i, I was thinking maybe just weapon and then gear but i think we can do gear because there's a lot to explain. There's a lot of options. Like you could do a coil instead of uh, the immortal flesh. Um, we could get something like um, synthesized uh, implicit on here. So for another 10%, um, you could go with or without power charges. You can get the uh, extra physical attack. Um, you can move your uh, mana costs around from here to here. You know, this is how I erase my mana costs. But you could actually get um, minus 15 to mana cost. Um, for all attacks on your chest, that's a possibility, but that's really expensive too, like seven, seven divine. There's a lot of options here, um, but we're going to go over them next. I hope this gets you over the hump with just the, just the flasks. And I, um, I'll, I'll link the, in the description, the link to how to craft these kind of flasks yourself. So you don't have to even buy them and you can become a seller and you can make a lot of money doing these, a lot of, uh, you know, making a bunch of different flasks. And it's fun. You get to roll them and you never, if you get a perfect flask, you're looking at a perfect crit flask is going to be, let's say just a perfect crit flask. Um, what is that? Uh, we're looking at, I think 55, let's see, let's say 54, 50 chaos. And then, oh, quality 20, the quality 20 doesn't matter because we could quality it up and 1.5 divines one divine and then you know the duration so you're, yeah you could definitely get into the divines there's some that are f four to five divines so um let's get into it and we'll i'll see you in the next episode there's a lot to cover <laughs> a lot <laughs> but we'll get you there and i forgot to mention um 
there's if you don't want to go with increased duration and you want to go with some other prefix on the top that will help you um you can definitely do that or if you have a mage blood um you would go with increased effect and you wouldn't care about the duration at all so um yeah that's there, there's different ways you can do this this is just how i do it to get you to the point where i'm doing what i'm doing so <laughs> just a caveat there cool <laughs>